Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. And I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Lovely Lab. If you're new to the channel, I am going to go ahead and encourage you now to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any of the lovely uploads here on this channel. Now, if you're not new and you're a current subscriber, thanks just so much for coming back. You could have been watching anybody's video, but you chose mine and I am eternally grateful. Now, the reason I'm popping on today is because in my previous rack video, um, I stated that I would do a flip through of this journal that was sent to me in that never ending rack by Katina, um, of celestial sense. Now, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with Katina's channel, it's celestial sense, and I'll drop a link below to her channel so that you can go over and show her some love. And so in that rack, she sent over this journal that she made for me. And let me just say that I've received, I have two of her other journals. They're kind of like collector's items, if you ask me, because they're so well made. Um, they always have great themes and she's very creative. Also, she's, you know, she, she's a follower of Christ. So a lot of times you'll see... Um, things in there that are inspiring so she sent me a couple of additional cards that i could make a journal from not to say that i it will come out looking like this but i mean a girl could try right so first off let's just take a look at um the outside so here's the outside if you haven't seen it in the previous video she's added a like it looks like this looks like a tim holtz type of a stamp i'm not sure if that's what it is it looks like it's die cut and backed with foam. Um, so I'm not sure if that's something she did. It, it would have to be something she stamped. And yeah, she had would have had to stamp, die cut, and, you know, distress the, the edges, speak, ink the edges. Because I don't think uh, Tim Holtz has layering pieces like that. Anyways, so that's what the back looks like. So she shows that it's a Hallmark card. She could have covered it up, but I like the fact that she left this like this. Now on the back, you also see, so apparently she has some type of an embossing folder that has like the postage images. So she's put that on the front and the back. Obviously that's a stamp. And this is kind of like a die cut that has like the postage wave marks. And then she's topped it with a button so I really love her attention to detail she's closed it up with some ribbon and they're always packed full of ephemera and note cards and stuff like that now here she's added a pen which I have not been able to successfully add one to any of my journals so I'm gonna have to check with uh, Katina and find out exactly how she managed to do that because what is the point of having a journal and you don't have a pen with you to journal, you know, when you're out and about. Anyways, so this is very stiff. And I don't know if she's, it feels like she's layered that or what. But this says thank you. It's embossed right there. And then so she's got a variety of different papers and lace trims. Look at that little young man, African-American man. And while I am a lover of every color of human beings. I do so love to see um, African Americans incorporated into our crafting because it's not very often that we get to see ourselves in our crafting. So whenever I see it guys and you see me taking it back and I comment on it, don't feel alarmed. Just know that as a black woman, I don't, it, you know, if you shop the aisles, you'll notice that, you know, there's not a lot of, a lot of, um, diverse representation for any other ethnicity be it Asian Hispanic or you know or black so when I see it I'm happy so here's her card Celestial Sense and let me make sure I'm not going to put that other information up here because I'm not sure she'd want that out there okay so then she's added some looks like we got the uh, airmail travel card bingo card postcard. Isn't it so cute? I cannot wait 
to use these because God knows I don't have any of this stuff. And let me just make sure that I state while we are, um, while I'm recording that my baby is sick. So you might hear him coughing in the background. Don't be alarmed. I'm not ignoring him. I've already medicated him, giving him something to eat. So he's resting and dad's home too. So, oh, a citation. Knock, knock, stuff .com. I don't, I'm not even familiar with that. A little journal, journaling note card or what have you. I could use some espresso right now, truly, with the amount of sleep that I've gotten. And I'm going to put this stuff back in here best I can, or at least put it back where it came from. And then I'll tuck it in nice and neatly off camera. So then she stamped some of the pages. These are journaling spots, as you know. Oh, look at the cute little girl, boy and girl. Aren't they adorable? And then there and there's the map page. Little note cards. That is adorable. I love the little note cards. And I have recently found um, that journaling on just random pieces of paper uh, really quickly to get thoughts out, which is a trick that I learned from Liz from Liz for a day. Um, helps me stop procrastinating and actually write down thoughts and events and experiences that I'm currently having so that I'm not trying to recall that information later on down. I can always throw it into my junk journal and make the page pretty, but I think it's important to kind of just get that out, purge that those feelings so that they're there. You've got them. Okay. So if there's a little trip tip, uh, tip for you guys, um, say thanks to Liz for that. Because I know I certainly have. Now in here, there's some more stamps. And I'm not going to go through all of them. But, oh, this is the one that's on the front. So I don't have that. My hand being brown probably doesn't help, right? <laughs> and I'm trying to be relatively quiet so as not to disturb the boy while he's resting. Because if I disturb him, if I make too much noise, then he'll think that it's okay for him to get up and maybe game or, you know, run about when, in essence, he should be resting so that the medicine can work and his body can recuperate from what little uh, virus or cold he is experiencing at the moment. Do you know how it is, moms? The minute you give them the okay to get about that bed, they want to rip and run and uh, sometimes it's just takes you back a day or two in terms of healing time. So then we've got some gridded paper. This looks like a pocket here that you can tuck. Oh, wait, wait, nope. Oh, no, she stitched these, these pages. Man, it's a lot of work that goes into something so little, huh? And then here's a little pocket. So she took the embossed sheet, uh, tore it, stitched it, and created a little pocket. So then we've got a tag it, that she's made. I love that. Looks like a little, uh, be, uh, like a little a cadet of some sort, band member. Let's slide this out. And this looks like um, a library card, or the library card that goes in there. Great things take time. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And there's some additional sheets in there. It's only a matter of time before somebody comes in here, y'all. So if I get interrupted, forgive me. No. All right, here's a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie recipe. I'll be in there in about nine minutes, Josh. Okay, tomato mushroom pasta bake. Mm-hmm. Def I, now, I don't know about the tomato and mushroom pasta bake because uh, it's got the cheese in it. And my husband can't eat the cheese and it's got the mushrooms in it. So that means my son ain't going to eat it, but I certainly could try it. But the peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, that would suit both my husbands. See, I like the chocolate chips. He likes the peanut butter. And Josh doesn't like chocolate. So, well, he eats it, but he doesn't. He's a complicated kid. Pep talk. Okay, I need to give that to myself daily. Here's another cart, a tad tag journaling tag that she's made they always have such great interest in it continue you make such great um ephemera for your um journals 
and such a, and a lot of it too. You must have a stash of it. And look at the cute. Oh, look at what she had. This is how she tied uh, the, the closure that she created for the signature. And the ends of it are these leaves that she's die cut. I don't know if you can see it from there. And let me just take note of this paper clip with the lace and the butterflies and the little rose, the resin rose. And that's how she did it. Isn't that cute? Smile it forward to fam. Oh, isn't that so cute with the little fox there? And then I'm not going to pull out these, but I see that Tim Holtz um, butterfly is there. I love that tag. It looks like a Greek goddess. The gridded paper. Creamy meatball and noodle casserole. Gosh, I'm going to have to go through that. Sorry, guys. Okay, and then on the opposite side is some more stamps. And I've been telling Katina to go on ahead and upload more videos. You know, and this is just my thoughts on it. And everybody's different. But don't wait until you guys have a perfect setup or studio or, you know, whatever. To put your information out there or to get your gifts. Things don't have to be perfect, Katina. In order for you to move forward and share your gifts and ideas and talents with the world. You know, because there are people that are far less talented talented than you that can learn from you so put it out there you know if you're willing to take the time to put it out there someone will be willing to take the time to learn from you and so that being said I've learned from quite a few here on YouTube um, as well as out in the real world look at these die cuts what is that cut I don't know if she cut it herself or if that's gorgeous That is gorgeous. Italy. Leonardo da, Vi da Vinci. Da Vinci. I A. I can't pronounce that, but love this stuff. I wonder if this is. She gave me a stamp set. I got to take a look at it and see if these are are from the same stamp set. I'm not gonna. Put, I'll put these back in later. Isn't that cute? And there's that little glassine bag. Magazine page of flowers. Love it. Book page. Look at him. Oh my God, he looks like my, my husband at that age. Minus the apparel because my husband, husband doesn't date back that far. But the face does. Katina, you did such a great job with this. All the detail and the different elements, the varying elements definitely isn't boring, okay? And I, I like the theme of it, the stamped thank you theme. I love it. And then here's the last card. You know, I actually like the size of this too. This is perfect for my daily journaling and I just want to get some thoughts out. Look at Joseph in his colorful robe. Traveling postcards, I mean, traveling note cards, bingo. So these are, you know, again, anyways. So this is the journal that Katina from Celestial Sense has created for me and sent to me. And I wanted to share it here on the channel because her aesthetic is a little bit different from mine. Um, it's, it's quite a bit different from mine, but I appreciate it. I, I do like to... Um, I create from my mind space and so I can only come up with what my mind uh, has access to and typically speaking I default to black white and bright or black white muted and bright you know that's just me now if I am if I receive an order for something in specific then I have something to go to but on my own my general aesthetic is black, white, bright, and muted. So, uh, so for example, the previous journaling, um, envelope journal you saw, it was black and white. Now it had punches of color, but a lot of my um, paper pads and things of that nature have uh, the, the paper that um, 
a lot, you know, quite a bit of the pages have black and white prints. So that makes it easier for me to pull from. Now the patterns are different, different textures, different paper weights, but that's just my general aesthetic. And so I would like to know, and I'm quite interested in knowing what is your general aesthetic? What is your go-to shabby chic? You know, you've got the rustic, you've got the um, vintage, you have um, retro, you have um pastels and florals there's so many different things i'm interested in knowing and getting to know what are your favorite and go to look at their phone ringing um aesthetics so anyways guys until we're back here again on youtube drop your information below in the comments in response to that question but until we're back here again on youtube guys stay encouraged stay blessed and stay creative and crafty bye for now if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the Crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Lily's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.